welcome to the oddest video I've ever made. These are weird products that I buy sometime on a whim. But you know, I kind of need them suddenly and that time there's nothing that replaces it. There is more. And they don't even finish because you need such less quantity of these and make you look pretty good in the long run. Ah. I'm going to quickly lead you through all these products, sharing why these all products are unimportantly important in my daily routine and my skincare. So the first product I'm talking about is the Chili Hostel Black Seed Oil from Juicy Chemistry. The research shows it gives you almost 300% better results on uh, you know, growing your hair back than any other ingredient. But then I don't have hair loss and I don't have bald patches. So how do you test a product? But you know it is so good. So what I do is I just use it in my hair care practically all year through. Because I know that as I age more, I'm going to develop hair thinning around this area, right? That is how age progresses. We might have a patch over here which you find in your mums and grandmums. And there's a very distinct patch from the parting. I don't want to develop that. I don't want to have, you know, hair loss from here. So I just use it before my hair oil every single day. Just a few drops along my hairline and that's all. So my hairline has stayed intact. Now, it's not just because of one product, but prevention is better than cure. The next product that I'm talking about is this squeaky soap clean diskettes that I picked up from uh, Amazon. Very cute packaging, super cute. And here it is, there's these small small things that you can use to wash your hands whenever you're outside the house. So they don't give you like too much of you know soapy kind of a feeling but it's great for road trips the next product request came from you this is the binaria uh, vitamin c which is supposed to lighten brighten your skin the first surprise <laughs> it's a tube with this kind of a dispenser i've never seen this kind of dispenser before very cute packaging um it's a creamy vitamin c which i've never really used generally i've used vitamin c which comes in a form of a serum this comes as a form for cream now it works very well i kind of kind of like it the only issue i have with this is that when i use it and i'm layering it with my other active it tends to pill a lot and the reason for that is because this cream format possibly has a lot of polymers and silicones it's very effective if you have a lazy skincare routine you don't want to use too many actives you can just go in with this and use your moisturizer and you're done and it was the absolute surprise to me was this tool called the cancer wand i never thought i'm going to use it this was sent to me by somebody, I forget who, but I kind of found it very interesting and I just love the fact that it glides so beautifully over the areas where your hands, especially when you have nails like mine, can be a little difficult to get into. The best part is if you have the right amount of oil on it, there's absolutely no friction on your skin. So it just glides on top beautifully and it's just amazingly soothing. You know, the thing with massages and the fact that they're so relaxing is because someone else is giving you the tactile pleasure of massaging your body and it gives you this nice sense of warmth and a feeling of safety. I think the same feeling comes when you use a tool like this. Whether this tool is really going to transform my skin or not, who knows? I have to get old three times over to really say that it really worked, but it's oddly satisfying. And here's a hack. Dip it in ice cold water and then massage your skin. It immediately debuffs your face especially the under eye bags when you develop you know when it's hot we tend to have these eye bags if your eyes irritated the lymph can collect and pool over here dump this in ice massage it very gently like this and you'll see immediately tightening of your eyelids very very good the next product is a product that i've spoken to a lot in program chamak and all of you come back and raved about it is a product I picked on a whim, really. I mean, accidentally I picked up from one of the pharmacies. It's called Organic Tea Tree Blemish Stick. It really packs a punch. My, um, you know, it's so hot today in Hyderabad. My um, breakouts tend to get very big and tend to get pus. But when I use this, I apply it like four or five times a day on the same spot and it completely dies down within the next two to three days. You know, at least the heat, sometimes when you get this breakout, you can feel the heat on it, that goes down completely. And that happens because this formulation is beautifully enriched with tea tree oil. If you're the kind who's saying tea tree oil is not good for my skin, I should be using it. Guys, tea tree oil is now recommended by dermatologists. 
I know there's a huge thing about essential oils are not good for you. Da, da, da. <sighs> Among all the myths that circulated in the skincare world, that parabens are not good, you know, uh, sulfates are not good, silicones are not good, it's the dosage which can cause it to be good or bad. It's the formulation which can make an ingredient good or bad. Have you ever used a badly formulated vitamin C? It can ruin your skin overnight, right? So it's never the ingredient, it's the formulation. And I'm a big believer in the old time oils, in the Ayurveda system of healing, and tea tree oil takes the top shelf in making sure my acne breakouts are controlled over a period of time. Try it. The next product is from Wishcare. It's got enhancing formula, brow and lash growth serum. Who doesn't want this, right? Especially me. I have been using this for the last two and a half months. And guess what? It actually has made my brows darker and denser. And I don't know whether I'm imagining it. You know, sometimes we have so many expectations with products that you feel it's working. I don't know. But I think it's a beautiful thing to worth taking a risk for. And that's the thing with all these products I'm using, right? They're such slow working products that you'll never know that they're really working or not working. But you know, after a year, I if it gives me even 5% extra growth in my eyebrows, hey, hallelujah, I would love that. So I'm using it. It's a mess of a product in terms of the way the packaging has been done because the wand collects all the oil and wherever you put that wand, there's a puddle of oil every morning on it. So I think Wishcare needs to revise the packaging of this product. The wand should go inside and uh, The phone is ringing and whenever the phone rings during a video, you know that the universe wants you to listen to this. So maybe the Wish Care Brow and Lash Serum is the product that you should immediately go and buy after this video. And hello, this is sponsor. Okay, let's get over the fact that I do only three in three months or in four months because I really don't enjoy collaboration so much. I think, okay. The next product I'm talking about is a surprise again. This is from Mars. It's called Base. It's called a strobe cream. And what do strobes do? Light up your skin. I think it's beautifully formulated. As in 230, 240 bucks, it really lights up your face. In fact, I have it on now and you can see the glow in the right places. It can add angle to your face. It can highlight your brows. It, you know, if you put it over here, it can highlight your cheekbones and make you look poppy and beautiful. I just love the fact that it gives you a nice glow and dewy finish to your skin. The next one is this clip. Why do I like this clip so much? <laughs> you know what I see? A lot of us when we are busy in the day, we tend to do this. Dorky, buddhu and so not stylish, right? I have to find myself in meetings going like this, suddenly look at myself in the mirror and say, e, you know, in the glass thing. Shh. Then I would very do this and then do this. The reason I don't like it is because it kind of highlights my odd hairline over here. So this and this karte karte, I said, why not just get a clip? Now how this clip helps is I just take the top section of my hair, which I, tend to, which I tend to get troubled with and I kind of just loosely clip it here. It's away from my face so nobody can see it when they're looking at me like this. Gives me this nice stylish puffed up look and best of all gives me this nice volume over here which we all love. So this cute clip I think is one of those things which I really miss if I don't have but I would never go out looking for it. It just happened to come into my daycare routine. I'm sweating. Then there's this Just Herbs Car lipstick which is broken. You know how Just Herbs, Herbs lipstick always break the capsule. <laughs> it shakes. See? It's like that but I'm not able to find this color anywhere. It's such a beautifully poppy pinkish peach color. I'm not a big fan of pinks in my lip colors, but I really love this color. I'm not been able to find a replacement, so hanging on to this. It's very hard to put because the, you know, the capsule keep going here and there and everywhere, so it's a lot time like that, but I still can't get rid of it. And the last product is the NARS Black Kajal. Intense, intense pigment and also learning how to use it properly. This is the way you actually should be putting Kajal. You pull it and then you get this nice tight line. Otherwise, you know, it tends to kind of bleed a lot, especially in summers when it gets hot and humid. 
Also, the trick that I've learned is that if you apply this very nicely on your top line, you know, under your eye, eyelashes right underneath, it is supposed to give you this nice thick look of your eyelashes. A cute small hack, but I really love it. It really kind of pops my eyes and um, doesn't smudge as much at all. I'm going to be doing a series of videos because I have so many of these products. I can't do an individual video for these, so I thought I'll just combine all of them. But all these products are so important to me because not only do they make my day better, but I know that in the long run, they are working quietly and silently in the background. For more on this, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.